All right, I'm going to just kind of jump right into this one. Over the past, I'd say, I don't know, few months, the past few months, I really have kind of started to have mixed feelings about some, not the very recent GEC knives, but the ones over the summer, I, you know, they were okay, but I didn't think they were as great as things like, like this that has just come out. And I know if you just watched my last video, you know this is a pretty new knife, but out of the tube, this knife, fit and finish wise, the, the pull, everything, is, this is what I expect out of a GEC. For a little bit there, it seemed like they were kind of, you know, a little bit off the mark. But during that time, that really got me interested in some of the patterns that I had owned previously or um, I had not owned that I, I knew I wanted to own. So it gave me time to focus on those because I wasn't so focused on buying new knives at buying new model knives or current production knives as I was buying the old um, knives. So the first knife that started with was this knife right here and they're, they're in order by year. This knife right here is a, let's see if I can get that there. This is a 76 model 2012 production GEC knife. Um, you don't see a lot of these, they only ran them once. Actually, if you go to the GEC website and you look up this model, the uh, model serial number serial number zero two number two. This is actually the stock photograph that GEC used for this model knife. If you go look at their production um, knives for the seventy six, so this is the one that kind of started it off. And like I said, I picked this up over the summer. Then um, these kind of came into play. Uh, and not necessarily in this order, but again, they're in order by year. So the knife I just showed you was 2012. This knife right here is a 33 um, Whittler. This is a seconds knife, but you don't see these knives a lot. So I, I really don't mind that. This knife is a 2013 production. So again, we're talking a knife that is still fairly... Um, some older production, even though it's a seconds knife, the fit and finish is still pretty good. We move from that to this uh, 09 Esquire in Bacote wood. And this knife is, let's see, let's get it right. This knife is a, having a little trouble finding it. Hmm, let's see. Well, it's not on here and I don't have my tube out, but I'm pretty certain that this knife was made around 2013 or so. So again, another older production knife, very, very nice quality, just something that I was looking for from GEC that I wasn't seeing at the time. <clears throat> um, then we move on to this 83 pattern. This knife isn't necessarily as old, but you don't see these a lot either. This knife was run in 2000. Let's see if I can get that a little bit better. This knife was run in 2015. Um, my, my buddy Courtney, uh, also called Fett, he hooked me up with this at a good price. This is a knife that I was looking to pick up again. I also picked up a 72 in this process, but I, I didn't pull that one out to show. And then, of course, the ever famous 38 Grinling Whittler. This knife was made in 2015. I also was lucky enough to get one of these in jigged red bone. Great knife, very sought after, very cool pattern. Again, just a, a piece from Great Eastern Cutlery during a time frame where they were just putting out exquisite work. So in this whole process, another knife that I had looked at and I had wanted um, that was on my list, I literally have a list on my phone of knives that I am not necessarily actively hunting. I would call it maybe passively hunting. Um, and it just so happened that this knife popped up one morning. I woke up early to go to work, five o'clock in the morning, I jump on blade forms and I see this knife. And I really couldn't believe that no one had claimed the knife because the price was very, very reasonable. Um, really probably a little bit too low. That knife, and let me see if I can find the tube first. That knife was the 
92, the 92 um, Eureka Jack. And this one is specifically in maroon linen micarta. I actually looked at one of these knives maybe about a month back, maybe about three weeks back on eBay. And it was in smooth white bone, which is what I would prefer. And that knife went for over $300. Uh, so needless to say, that's why I don't have that knife. I was lucky enough to stumble upon this knife. And as you can see, it's in exquisite quality. This knife is an all steel knife. So you can see that the liners, the back springs, the blade, the uh, rivets, the bolsters, everything i mean look at those back springs you don't see this kind of quality every day from modern knives and like i said for a while you weren't seeing this almost seamless look from gec knives um here another thing that i like and i'm looking forward to this in the 78s coming up this knife you can um you can access both knives from the front so do you have a coping blade here and I believe the year, the year is not on this knife. Then you have a spear blade. And this spear blade has a satin finish. The coping blade has a satin finish. And you can see the years on the back of this knife. This is a 2013 production. So again, we're not talking about a new knife. This knife here is very, very, very well fit and finished. This sway back design which I'll show you here. You can see here how the the handle kind of starts down and it swings up here. And the back, it does have a, a little um, um, peak right here. However, the overall design is it kind of dips down and then swoops back up. So it's considered a sway back. In this grip, this knife feels very, very comfortable. And also in this grip, this knife feels natural. It feel, it, you, if you told me that this was the way the knife was designed and this blade was flipped over 180 degrees, it would feel just as good in this grip as it does in this grip. So just a, a great knife, great pattern, great design. Um, still have a few more on my list that I'm looking to pick up, but this was the latest acquisition to knives um, of a time past. I know these aren't necessarily quote unquote old knives um but these are gec knives and if you've looked at my videos you know that i'm primarily a gec collector and if you're a gec knife person you know that these models here that i have pulled out they're all models that were made during a time where the fit and finish was excellent and they're all models well maybe not this esquire but they are all models that were and still are highly sought after. If you can find this knife, this is not gonna be a cheap knife. These knives go for a pretty good amount. Forget about buying one of these knives unless you have a, a good amount of money and you never even see these go up for sale. And if you do, they're usually not a Whittler pattern. So just a great set of knives that I've slowly but surely been, oh, I forgot one. And this knife, you don't, you don't hardly ever see um, speaking of, this is the knife I usually get asked about, is it for sale? None of these knives are for sale. All of these knives are knives that I'm slowly building up and collecting because I'm looking at the older models that I missed out on that I want to go back and pick up. So all of these knives are fairly rare knives and sought after knives that I've decided to go back and track down. I hope you enjoyed looking at these knives. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you in the next video.